When it comes to video games, Mac owners get the blunt end of the stick. But fear not, I have a solution that'll solve all your problems. Today we're going to look at how to play Windows games on Mac OS. Let's get started. All of the resources available for today's video tutorial can be found in the description down below. So be sure to check that out first. First you're going to want to open up your internet browser and go to xquartz.org. Again, the link is in the description. And underneath quick download, just click the DMG file that's listed there. Next, you're going to want to go to winehq.org and navigate towards the download button on the right side of the website. And eventually you will see a Mac OS link. Now you want to go ahead and click that and then follow the instructions on how to install WineHQ packages. Now I installed the stable file here, but if you're having trouble, sometimes the developer on the staging one might fix your solution, even though they're a bit buggier than the stable. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is open and install Xquartz first. It's a pretty simple process. All you have to do is hit continue, 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 install, and then type your password in. You may have to restart your computer after installation. Now once that's done, you're gonna wanna install Wine as well, and you wanna make sure that the 64-bit support option is clicked because a lot of games and apps nowadays require 64-bit support. Next, you're gonna wanna find your EXE file. In this case, we're gonna install Steam. So I navigated to steampower.com and I downloaded the Windows Steam client. All right, once you have those two things installed, you're gonna wanna open Wine and just ignore the it, Wine is not optimized for your Mac. If it doesn't open the first time, just be patient. All right, so here is what Wine looks like. It's pretty simple looking, honestly. To start any program, you simply type Wine. And in this case, I'm gonna drag the file over to the to the terminal window and hit enter. That'll create the path automatically for me so I don't have to do it myself. And if this wine mono installer ever pops up, gecko installer, whatever it's called, just hit cancel, it's not important. All right, now you can see that uh, Steam's got an update, of course, so we're gonna wait for that to download. All right, and this screen should look pretty familiar for anybody who's logged into Steam before. So all you gotta do is simply type in your account name and password and hit sign in. And once that's done, you may be wondering, where the heck is Steam? Well, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see a little tiny Steam icon. All you need to do is right click that and then go down to your library. And there you can see all of the games available for you to install. So for this video tutorial, I'm gonna just install Army Men RTS, for example. And here you can see that it runs just fine. And you know, I can go to the main menu, I can go to the options menu. I can click around and do things and it works completely 100%. Now obviously this is only meant for certain games to run. It's not going to run the latest and greatest, you know, Far Cry 5 or Grand Theft Auto 5. I mean, you can sure try to install it, but your options are pretty limited when it comes to the software. It's just going to install your basic Steam applications. It's really good for indie games um, and not so good for AAA games, I would say. But you, like I said, you can mess around with it. Your luck may vary. So let's say you're done playing and you quit Steam. Now where the heck did everything install? Well, that's a great question. So in order to find those files again, you simply need to go up to the Go menu and then click Home. And it actually installs to a hidden folder. So to show hidden files, you need to hit Command Shift period. And that'll show the files. And then you can see now that it there is a .wine file, and that is where all of your Windows software is going to be installed. So if you ever want to reopen something you've already installed and find the path file to it, you can do so in this folder. Type in wine, drag it over, hit enter, and you're good to go. In this case, I found Steam EXE, so I'm going to open up wine again, drag it in, and hit enter, and you can see that it boots up no problem. And if you're having any difficulty and you need to configure some programs, all you need to do is simply type in Wine CFG and hit enter. And here's where you can tell Wine to run certain applications in different versions of Windows and mess around with the audio and the video. So if you're ever having any trouble getting a game or an application to run, simply type Wine Config and configure a custom profile for the game that you're having troubles with and just kind of mess around with these settings. It takes a lot of trial and error to get some of these programs to run because some of them are so old that, you know, it only runs on Windows XP, for example. And some require, like I said, a 64-bit version of Windows to run as well. I'm also going to mention, for whatever reason, you can download games from Steam, 
but I was unable to access the Steam store while the Windows version of Steam was open, um, which is really weird. I don't really know a great fix for that. If you do know a fix for that, leave a comment down below. I'm sure it'll help out others. But basically, all you got to do is go into steampower.com, buy the game there, and then it'll show up in your library, and you can download it from there. Unfortunately, you can't browse the store for whatever reason in Wine. It's really weird. And if you're having any sort of problems, you can always check out the Wine forums. There's a lot of tutorials and helpful people there that you can ask questions of. And you can also leave your questions and comments down below and help each other out. But that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, a thumbs up would really be appreciated. And subscribe for some more content such as this. Share it with your friends who may find this tutorial useful. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.